Hey everybody, so today I will be showing y'all how I prepped my wig and as well at the end of the video I will include an initial review. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned. Alright guys, so who's ready for a voiceover? Because I know I am. Alright, so basically the reason why I wanted to dye this hair is because it comes in this brown color with hints of red and I absolutely hate it. And also my frontal is lighter than my bundles. You can't tell here but in the light and also in the sun you can see it and I hate it. So I just wanted to go ahead and dye the whole wig black. So I decided to use a Revlon Color Silk. Now normally I use the box with the girl that looked like me, you know, melanin popping or whatever. But I walked into Walmart and they had a rollback on these Revlon dyes. So that's why I went ahead and um, chose this one instead. Now it comes with four items to actually dye your hair. And then it also comes with a comb and a brush to apply the dye. Now it also has directions and don't worry sis, if you don't have gloves at home, it does provide gloves for you within the direction. So don't worry about it, Revlon gonna hook you up now. Okay, so taking the item that has the number two on it, I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off and I'm gonna use that lid to puncture a hole. Now what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna end up pouring it into the bottle that has the number one in it, which is the actual dye. Now we're just gonna go ahead and pour everything in it, squeeze everything in it. Don't waste no item, don't waste no product. You know, you don't pay for it. Use everything, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, well, I'm gonna put my gloves on and then I'm gonna take the lid and I'm going to go ahead and cover it. Now in the directions, it's gonna tell you to cut the tip off and then um, go ahead and shake it. But I didn't cut the tip off because I feel like that's dumb, like that's stupid. Like why would I cut the tip off and you know, have dye going everywhere even though I'm holding it with my fingers still, no, no. So what you wanna do instead of that is just don't cut the tip off, just go ahead and put it on uh, the bottle, shake it up, you know, like what I'm doing, you know, I'm shaking it, you gonna shake it, shake it, whoa, shake it, hmm, shake it, ha, shake it, F it up, shake it, shake it, shake it, F it up, shake it, shake it, shake it, whoa, and then, <laughs> let me stop being so annoying, okay, let me not annoy y'all today, <laughs> but yeah, just shake it, just shake it, you know, that's all I can really say. That's all I'm doing here. I'm looking getting tired. But anyway, so once I was done shaking it, I went ahead and cut the tip off and now I just started applying it. Now I had already started applying it before I showed this clip, but what I had been doing was just taking it in sections and applying it. But then I got tired and then my thought process was, look, it's just black. If I don't get everything, it's gonna blend in. <laughs> so that's why I just started um, squirting the dye everywhere and then using my hand and the brush and the comb to just apply the dye now do not dye your hair like this <laughs> if you're actually doing it like a color like blonde or light brown um, you want to make sure you get every single hair but if you're dyeing your hair black sis you can be lazy like me you ain't gotta do all that extra stuff just squirt the dye on there and then rub it down and comb it out brush it out um, so that it at least reaches almost every single hair so I just kept doing that until the whole entire bottle was empty because like I said we saving our coins we ain't gonna waste no product or anything we finna use everything okay so yeah use everything guys <laughs> So this is what the hair looks like now. Um, I haven't rinsed it out yet, but it is fairly black. It's like really black. So that's the, what I got from using all of the entire bottle. So now you just want to rinse everything out. Um, it's supposed to rinse clear. So when I was rinsing this, it was coming out like a dark chocolatey color. So you want to keep rinsing it and rinsing it. Don't use shampoo, don't use conditioner, don't use nothing until um don't use anything until it's clear until the water comes out clear so just keep on rubbing it and putting it through the water until all that residue is out All 
All right, so in the box, it actually has conditioner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the wig. Now, of course, before I put it on there, um, it was uh, giving me clear water. So go ahead and put that on there. And just to make it um, a little bit more silkier, I went ahead and added my own uh, conditioner that I love. It's the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil. I love, love this conditioner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a good amount of that also onto the wig. All right, so now that I am done applying the conditioners, I went ahead and took a Walmart bag and I just placed my wig in there and closed it up and had it sit for about an hour or two. What's up guys? So continuing off of what you last saw, all I did was leave my hair in the bag for about an hour. I rinsed it out um, and then I let it air dry. So I let it air dry. Um, I don't know how many hours it took because it was late at night so I just left it out and then the next day it was dry. So um, I just left it flat out, let it air dry and then I styled it the next day. So all I did was just straighten it, no blow drying involved and this is what I got so as y'all can see this hair is very black like this is exactly the look that I wanted so everything is now the same color and I love it I feel like it took the dye really easily but I mean it was black so I feel like every hair should take black like if your hair don't take black there's something wrong because it's just black so but this is how it came out and so real quick just to give y'all the specs on this hair I will be doing like a final review after like months go by but for right now this is just the initial talking about what I received so as mentioned this is hair from Ali Pearl this is their um, straight Peruvian hair I got it in the inches 24 20 16 and a 16 inch frontal that I cut into a larger closure because like I work out I don't have time to be having this the glue just dripping all on everywhere no so it's literally just from here from he to here from here which is just a little bit bigger than a normal um, frontal I mean a normal closure and then it goes all the way back here like a frontal so um, yeah I just cut it and then styled it so it's a way easier also and you have more space like a frontal but um, yeah I got it in the straight and I'm loving this hair y'all know from my last review when I did the Brazilian body wave I do like Ali Pearl hair so this is it love it anyway I don't want to make this video too long so thank you so much for watching this video if you made it this far you guys don't forget to like this video as well don't forget to subscribe subscribe is free okay subscribe click the button and I'll see y'all in my next video bye guys Go go coro, I go go comaro, I go go.